Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today I want to make a tripod of sorts. Um, it's really just going to be a 2x4 with a base on it and a couple clamps to hold my phone while I record. I know I said my next video was going to be about the bookcase and it is, but this is just going to be a short video while I make this camera stand that I can use for the bookcase video coming up later this week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. This will be the base for my quote unquote tripod. Uh, it's a piece of OSB with two 2x6s just screwed to the bottom. Again, this is not a fancy build. It's just to sort of improve my future video quality. Uh, so my plan was to cut a hole approximately in the middle not really a hole but more of a mortise so that my 2x4 that I planed down will slide down into it um, and hold my camera steady so let's start cutting those holes so you want to buy a cheap router and then you want to buy a cheap router bit huh wonder what will happen well Maybe your bits won't fit in your collet. And maybe your collet will start to cut threads on your bit. Huh. So, you don't want to pound them in with a mallet, right? No. Unless you have to. Which I do. So, here we go. As you can see, the uh, router bit fits real nicely in the collet. I didn't have to pound it in with a mallet, so that's good. I'm going to start cutting these now. Here we go. There's the hole cut to receive the 2x4. Uh, I had to do it freehand because I was getting mad trying to set up the camera. <clears throat> and set up the fence for the router. But it actually fits pretty tight uh, for the most part. <laughs> so... We'll go with that. Uh, I'm going to glue it in place and then maybe add focus, focus, and then maybe add some strips just to keep it in place. Here we go. On to the next step. Well, I set the 2x4. It's really more of a 1x4. 
in the slot that I cut and then I just glued some blocks in place and brad nailed them make sure it was level on both sides using that level get level boy uh, sorry about that now I'm just gonna glue some blocks on the sides there and on the other side to make sure that uh, pole is nice and straight here we go all right we got the post stuck into the base with some glue and a couple screws on each side the mortise in there should keep it nice and level so now we're just going to work on getting the camera mount set up i've got the slot for my clamp to hold my phone in place i'm going to add some pieces here and you'll see why in just a minute so I cut these two pieces here so I can clamp my phone in at an angle to shoot down on a workpiece if necessary. I've also got my hole there and as you can see I left a bit of space here so I can clamp it on straight to shoot that way. I know it might be hard to envision but uh, this will make shooting videos easier and hopefully my bookshelf video with my new stand comes out good because I won't have to be fiddling with the video so often and I can just shoot it on the stand. So, even though this is a short and simple video, hopefully you can see how a Two hour project, one hour project, depending on your skill level, can simplify your life. I am actually shooting this shot using the stand that I just made and I can say without a doubt that it has simplified my video making process. Right now, first shot that I made, we're in the money zone here. So thanks guys again for watching and hopefully found this video somewhat useful uh, like I said I will be starting on the bookshelf this weekend I hope to have that video uploaded on Monday or Tuesday if you like this video please consider subscribing um, I appreciate you guys watching again uh, this is a very new channel so I hope that I hope that you understand the quality of my videos can only get better and thank you very much for watching I appreciate it have a good day like subscribe subscribe